about love in New York City, you should be thinking about, now get this, pigeons. Kate, good morning. Good morning, Richard. Pigeons? Yes. Lovebirds? Pigeons. Here's why they're romantic. They mate for life, and like human couples, they need to work to keep the spark alive. Mm -hmm. I spoke to Elizabeth Carlin, who's a PhD student at Fordham University. She works in a lab that studies urban evolution. And Richard, you know how sometimes you'll walk down the street and you'll see one pigeon sort of following the other around, puffing up and trying to look attractive? Right. According to her, that's That's not... That's attractive when they pop up? It's very attractive. Okay. That's not some annoying dude pursuing an uninterested (laughs) female. Those are two lovers in a committed relationship. They constantly do their mating dance, and so that's one way that they (laughs) keep up their pair bond. They're also really smart because they have incredible homing instincts. Carrier pigeons have been used to deliver messages in in world wars, and they also process visual stimuli in a really advanced and complex way. This fact blew my mind, you Richard. Gotta explain that. One study done a couple of years ago found that one group of average pigeons was about 85% successful in reading mammograms. Mammograms? Mammograms, <laughs> meaning they could distinguish between benign and malignant cells. Okay, so does this mean that they'll be in the doctor's office when we visit for <laughs> the appointment? Per- perhaps not, but they could be because there's about as many of them as there are of us here in New York City. Why are there so many pigeons? Well, they were probably brought here from Europe in the 1600s. Back then they were known as squab, mainly raised to be eaten, but once they got here, they took to the local environment. Not only is there a lot of food available for them year-round, Elizabeth Carlin says, pigeons also like city real estate. New York City buildings are are perfect. They mimic the cliffs of the native region where these pigeons are found. What do they think of the rising rents, though? (laughs) So, you know, I started to develop a theory when I was talking to Elizabeth Carlin, and maybe I was leading the witness a little bit here, but she agreed with me. They're a very successful immigrant population. In other words, pigeons have evolved to live in the city just like us.